shuffle here. Or a couple. You have the Seven of Swords, the world, and the tower in your energy. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. Ouch. Capricorn. What in the heck? The person you are dealing with. Is the Five of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. The energy coming in for you guys. energy coming in for Capricorn. Thank you. Is the Seven of Wands. Spirit's advice for you. Ooh. The Knight of Swords. The Six of the Six of Wands. Oops. In the reverse. And the Ten of Cups in reverse. Bottom of the deck, though, is the Ace of Pentacles. You have a new beginning here. What's the outcome? The Devil in reverse. Let's get one more since it's a major arcana. And yourself. Okay, your bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. Clarified with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And the Three of Swords in reverse. Your next card out is the Fool. Amazing. The Knight of Cups and the Lovers. Well, hot diggity damn. Capricorn. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I looked over and my kids' school was calling, so I had to answer it. It was important. Um, okay, so Capricorn. Back to this. What is going on okay so obviously um, choices of your past um, things that have happened between you and your person um, let's see who had let's see whose tower this is there's a seven of swords here for Capricorn And the world. Okay. So, Capricorn. Um, you had a falling out in the past with this person. Um, this It also came in your shared energy. So, this is a true soulmate. Um, there was a tower, a shakeup. The foundation crumbled and the two of you um, went your separate ways. Um, there was deceit on your part in the past. Um... You could have ghosted this person, took off from this person, but this, but you, um, you chose instead of to kind of, for lack of better words, face the music, you decided to take off and abandon this person. Now, remember, these energies can be vice versa. So if you're not the one that was cheating, you are this person, okay? Because you had a spouse or a girlfriend or boyfriend or something. You had three people here, most definitely. Um, you are allowing a major... Of seeing the world in all these readings because that's exactly what this energy is bringing in. It took you a long time to decide what to do, Capricorn, um, with this hangman in reverse. Um, you're coming out of that delay. No longer putting off the inevitable. Um, now, like I said, if that wasn't you, then um, it's the other person. Because the other person... Um, oh... Okay, I do have that backwards. So, this tower came into your life from the other person. Um, shaking this whole thing up because you thought this was your soulmate. This tower came crumbling down um, and ruined what you thought was your perfect relationship. Um, this person ghosted. They took off, leaving you in the cold, leaving you abandoned, leaving you with all these questions and no answers. They just snuck off into the night. 
Um, it took you a long time to get over this, to heal this, to uh, get through this pain and, and sorrow and sadness. But you are finally coming to that point where you can close this chapter, end that, um, put a period on it and close the book. Uh, this person had a lot of options. A lot of competition was biting for their attention. Um, and there was a third party scenario here. There's a five of wands here for this person. A lot of arguing as well. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. So um, with the five of wands, there's some healing that needs to be done. It's the, Your person has to step back and, and allow, um, allow the conflict to subside out of their, um, their mind. This, oops, this is a past life soulmate that you're dealing with, but, um, with the queen of pentacles in reverse, neither one of you is nurturing the relationship. Um, they could be focusing a lot on work instead of trying to fix this. They're like trying to bury themselves in work um but this is also um yeah the a third party why is this three of pentacles here all right the queen of swords in reverse so um they possibly have not ended that third party um the queen is in reverse so nobody's cut anything out of the situation that's why they still have competition in their um in their space but not nurturing the relationship at home this is a relationship that the two of you share a home together the energy coming in for you guys is more arguments more um combating more um more fighting for who's right in this situation um yeah so you do have the page of swords here. So information is coming out, creating a little hostility, creating some arguments, some fighting, um, causing a lot of heartbreak and no opportunity for this big abundance. Um, yeah, this person is like very defensive when you ask them questions. Um, even though you already know the answer, um, you want to hear it out of their mouth um, because your heart is broken over this situation. Um, Spirit's advice to you is to move away from this situation, to get out of there, to um, to end a uh, circumstance where you're just emotionally drained, you're exhausted, you're heartbroken, um, and I do see you moving out of out of this energy with that world. So, whoa, yeah, another seven of wands. So you're not going to win here um, with the argument. They're going to continue to fight and argue with you. Even though they're the one that was in the wrong, they're going to try to def defend their stance on this. Why is the Ten of Cups here? You could be dealing with a borderline narcissist. And I hate using that word. But, yeah. Spirit's saying... Oops. This goes here. Spirit's saying to, um, to put yourself first. Um, it's okay to be selfish here. To cut your losses and move forward and do what's best for you because there's not any success here. You're feeling defeated. Um, you're feeling really drained. So you're going to make a choice to put this, to put this relationship, um, away to end this and to move forward. Um, no longer putting a blindfold on to what the reality of what is going on. Your outcome is a four of pentacles with the devil. So you're going to put your guard up. You got your wall up. You're, you're being stingy with your thoughts, your emotions, your time. Um, you could be um, getting, if, you're, if you haven't quite left this person yet, you could be getting finances in order. Um, yeah, because you see that, that this isn't going to work. The six of wands in reverse again. Um, so you're just, even though you know the truth, if you're still with this person, just preparing to leave. You know a lot more than what you're saying. And you're just waiting for it to come out because you know what happened. Um, you are getting out of this toxic relationship. Um, I don't feel this is representing your energy um, in the reverse. This is saying you're breaking this cycle. This cycle is done for you. You are no longer going to repeat this karmic cycle over and over and over again like you've done in the past. 
um, you are going to allow this to end and cut away the uh, the ties that you have to this um, karmic lesson. Uh, this person also could be battling addictions or um, you are Capricorn. You are conquering those if that is you because the Nine of Cups and the Devil um, together is an addiction. But when they're both in the reverse, it is getting over it and judgment came out with that as well. So you're going to get a second opportunity at love. When you release this toxic energy, when you um, let go of this cycle and move forward, cutting that bond um, that the two of you have carried through lifetimes and moving forward with your lesson and beginning anew. Your bottom of the deck and shared energy. So you have a two of cups love. Clarified by the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. So let's see what this is all about. I forgot and shuffled instead of um, pulling from the bottom of the deck, but that's okay. I'm going to get the cards that are meant to come out one way or another, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, let's see. Why is this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? Oh, beautiful. Okay, bottom of the deck, Emperor, you're taking back control of your life. You're taking charge. You're no longer putting up with people's bullshit. You're leaving behind what you thought was a soulmate due to a third-party situation. You're putting it, you're done. You, you don't care if they're a soulmate anymore. Um, there are plenty of soulmates out there. We have more than one. Um, and you're going to go out and find true love that will bring you happiness and celebration instead of tears and sadness. Look at all these threes. The three of uh, swords clarified by the three of wands in reverse. You're getting over that heartache and you're going to be able to manifest your own dreams, your own blessings, bring your own ships in. Um, because even though you're coming in in the reverse right now, Capricorn, you're finding healing. You're finding um, divine timing down the road. But most importantly, you're going to heal from this tower moment. You're going to get then your second chance at love. And the universe will bring in a true soulmate for you that will bring you happiness and not all these threes. I mean, look at all these threes. Threes, threes, threes. And your empress at the bottom, was at the bottom of the deck earlier too before I started shuffling. That was what was actually clarifying this. I don't know what was under it because I didn't look. But still, same message applies. Uh, when divine timing and or when the star and judgment come in together, this is a true life soulmate. Um, so this may have not... Um, I mean, this could have been a soulmate that was meant to come in for you and then uh, teach you a lesson, you teach them a lesson, and you part and move on to your next person that you're meant to be with. That's what you're getting out of. These were the hard lessons that were taught from this relationship. But once you find healing, the universe will step in and bring you um, a true divine partner. So let's get your love cards from the angels. For Capricorn. Okay. Your two cards are lighthearted, extend your lighthearted energy to others, and your life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So, most definitely, get yourself back out there. After you get done healing with this, um, get out there, have fun, have fun with your friends. When you have um, positive energy around you, it brings positive people in. And once you get through this star, you are going to have a very quick relationship. It's coming in very fast. So continue on getting through that star. Some of you are through this. Some of you have already left this person. Some of you are still with them. For the ones who have already left and have found healing, you are preparing to meet your soulmate. Within the next you know, four to eight days, um, be fun. Be flirty. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. All right, your card of guidance, Capricorn, because my God, you deserve it. Like, this is, this is bullshit. <laughs> All right, your card of guidance, easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect time. Like I said, divine timing. So don't rush your healing process because you think you're going to miss that soulmate. Don't rush anything. Just enjoy the, enjoy the ride. Go with the flow. Continue your healing. And what's meant for you will come for you in just the right time, Capricorn. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, I hope that uh, the next four days treat you well. 
Uh, this, this moon energy is big. So go with the flow. Let things go that are meant to go. And let your blessings flow. Okay? All right, guys. God bless.